Hey yo fellow Legonians, fellow Brick fans, this is Dave Frost reporting in once again with another Lego Star Wars set review. This is the Flash Speeder. Age suggestion is 7 to 12. Number code is 75091. Comes with 312 pieces and 5 mini figures. Even though one is repeated once. But anyways. So you see the front of the box. Here is the. Here is the top. The right side. The left, the left side, and then the bottom, which includes um, a free to join Lego Club advertisement, copyright information, and the barcode when you want to barcode when you want to purchase the product. Then there is the back. Which shows off all the different features and a bit of an action comic strip like they're storing away the accessories, the droids come and they go after the droids and fire upon them and destroy them. Next is the instruction booklet which is separated into three bags. Well, the entire set is separated into three bags, uh, just to forewarn you. There's an advertisement for joining the Rebels. There are the characters of the Rebels TV show. Then, you can go to lego.com forward slash Star Wars and enjoy a bunch of different activities, like make your own... Uh, poster that you can print out and hang on your wall then it advises and suggests that you build the set bag by bag then it gets on to building the battle droids building the set then so so far it is 29 pages and 24 steps on building the first part of the set. And then it goes on to building the Naboo Guard, Naboo Officer, and the Jar Jar Binks type character. Let me rephrase that. It is the Cap Nabu Security Officer, the Nabu Security Guard, and then Captain Tarpals, which is spelled T A R P A L S. Then it goes on to building the second part of the set, which only takes. Which continues on with 48 pages to build this set and 35 steps in building the set. Then it goes on to bag 3, which finishes off building the vehicle. Which concludes the building of the set with a total of 77 pages and 42 steps. 
then it shows off the feature of firing off the missiles but advises that you don't shoot at anyone's eye and then a whole product shot product shot camera angle shot and then two halves of a page which, which makes a whole page of the list of pieces And then it goes on to advertising the all five sets from summer 2015. So you get the Flash Beater, the Naboo Starfighter, the final scene of episode six, or not exactly the actual final scene, but the final duel between Emperor Palpatine, Luke Skywalker, and Darth Vader. Then the Tyridian, which is the Emperor's transport shuttle, and they actually called it by its actual name. And then the only Star Wars Rebels set, um, the TIE Fighter transport where it has miniature versions of TIE Fighters underneath it. Or TIE Fighter Carrier Transport, actually. Then a list of all the minifigures that come in all five of those sets. Of the summer wave of LEGO sets, LEGO Star Wars sets of 2015. Where you have a battle droid, Captain Tarples. The Nabu security officer, the Nabu security guard, the com the commander droid, the commander battle droid, the Nabu starfighter pilot, Obi Wan Kenobi, Anakin Skywalker, R two D two, Darth Vader, Luke Skywalker, Emperor Palpatine. Emperor, the Emperor Guard, Han Solo, Chewbacca, Leia, two Endor Rebel fighters, a Empire officer, a commander from I can't even remember his name, but he's a commander from Empire Commander from Star Wars Star Wars Rebels, a Tie Fighter pilot, Sabine Wren, and an Astromech droid. And on the back, as usual, when stuff for giving product feedback. And when you think you're off the hook. Of no stickers at all, you may not get very far because you have two small stickers for the two control panels or the control module and the uh, computer screen behind the windshield. Next, we go on to the extra pieces. So we get not one, but two half stud, half peg connector pieces where it goes to a, into a brick or a plate that has, has a hole in the center or inside of it. In the light bluish gray color. A black connector peg where it's a connector peg on both sides then two square one by one plates 
in the green color. In the green color, you get those two pieces. Then a square flat tile in the green color. A trans red one by one round stud plate piece. And one straight and one bended or curved droid arm in the tan color. And that is it for the extra pieces. Next, we move on to the minifigures. So we get two battle droids, which are pretty basic. Because of the fact that we get these battle droids in so many sets and over time they get pretty weak and flimsy and hard to stand up straight and they get the regular blaster pistol guns or blaster guns next we get Captain Tarfles Again, that's T-A-R-F-A-L-S. And he is of the species of Jar Jar Binks. And he has a dark brown spear for a weapon. And he has very awesome printing for his headpiece, which is hard plastic, not flex flexible soft plastic or even rubber. It's a little bit movable, but that's how hard the plastic is. There we go. So he has a little bit of printing for his eyes and his nose. And he has an awesome torso print. And front leg printing. Come around to the back. He has his webbed ears or whatever body part these are known as and then he has a awesome back torso print but no back printing on the back of the legs at all next we got the Nabu security officer who comes with a hand pistol gun for a weapon and then he has a nice or awesome crest print image on his helmet or his hat uh, an interesting facial, facial print as well as printing for his torso and legs on the front. Come around to the back. You get the same or a bit of a different print image for the 
back of the hat, which kind of pops out in a way, because that's how it's designed. It's not printed like the torso or the legs. So taking the hat off, he has a back head print. So it's not really front or back, just double sided. And then an awesome back torso print as well, but no printing on the back of the legs though. And he's yelling at me, saying, get the sun out of my face. Or that light. <laughs> For the last but not least minifigure, we get the Nabu security guard. Guard Comes with a pistol weapon. Hand pistol gun for his weapon. As an accessory and a pair of binoculars as well. And then... I'm pretty sure... Or at least I think so. The print on the front of his hat is similar to the image on the front of his, of the officer's hat. So that's pretty cool. Then he has an interesting print for his face. You know, the neutral, mellow look, facial expression, is what he gets. And then an interesting print for his torso and for his leg, legs. Um, then for the back, he does not have a back head print. But he does get an awesome back torso print. And then, again, no back leg print at all. Now we move on to the actual set. So this is the Nabu Flash Speeder. You may not really tell, but it has the underside plates and the trans clear color, so it looks like it's hovering. I'm not sure if it's that accurate height, though. But let's move on to the features. So the guard gets this control guiding handlebar system. On both sides, these doors, if you will, open up like that. So that's pretty cool. Next, for the back seating, these headboards are removable and you can store stuff inside the vehicle beneath the headboards. And 